I gotta tell you, I, I love this. I love this channel, and I appreciate y'all because um, it gives me valid excuses, valid reasons to do stuff like this today. Oh, hold on a second. I gotta get this soda. All right, folks, we got a treat today, and I'm excited about this one because I know that a big chunk of this audience is not gonna know about this place. You've never seen this place before. All right, let me show you what I got today, and then let's get into this one thing at a time. For one. This is a live soda. We've talked about this in this uh, previous video that we did. It was the cola, but I wanted to get the lemon lime because I knew they had different kinds. And the folks over at the Healthy Food Store ordered this one. I've already had one. This will be my second one. I'm going to review that for y'all in this video today. Also, just as a side thing, I picked these up. I was in Dollar General just getting some batteries for the studio. And I saw these, so I picked them up. Never seen this flavor, thought we would just try them out and review them also. But the star of today's show and what I'm most excited about, for $8.99, without me spilling this everywhere, we went to the Cruisers on the corner of Cashua and Sumter Street. And look, if you know, you know, but I know a lot of you don't know. But after today, you, you'll know. I played with different ideas about what angle to approach this from. And I just decided we're just going to say, what is the inside look of this soul food? Because we haven't really done any soul food on the channel yet at a gas station of all places. I was going to do uh, the best fried chicken ranking. And just for the sake of getting that ranking started, I'll go ahead and plug this into the spreadsheet. It's the first one. So obviously it's going to be first place. So I'll do that. But I'm not really going to focus in on it like I thought I was today. We're just going to look at this whole meal. Now, for $8.99, here's what we've got. This rice, which I'll talk about here in a minute. They have two different rice options they offer at lunchtime up there. Two pieces of fried chicken, a breast and a wing, a piece of cornbread, and potato wedges. And you know what? I'm going to dive right in, and I'm going to tell you all a little bit about my background with this place and what they do over there. Potato wedge. Pretty standard. Seasoned well, nothing to complain about there. Mm. Oh, yeah. So it's like a, let me read you the ingredients on this real quick. Let's just do this first. It's a mushroom-based soda, so it's adaptogenic mushroom infusion. Rishi, chaga, turkey tall with black tea, lemon juice, cold-pressed lime juice, raw apple cider vinegar, dark amber maple, a erythritol, and stevia leaf. So it's supposed to be a healthy alternative to soda, these. And I think the cola is pretty good. And it is definitely a healthy alternative to like a soda, which is ironic because I'm talking about healthy foods, but I'm eating this, which is what I said earlier. This channel is giving me excuse to go outside of what I may normally do if it weren't for this. <laughs> but yeah, I'm into health options. I'm, in, I'm into that whole thing. And these are pretty good. This, it actually... Tastes most similar to a uh, sun drop. Again, if you know, you know. Sun drop in the glass bottle. Don't mistake what I'm saying there to think you're going to buy one of these and it's going to be equivalent to sun drop. I'm just saying it's most similar to sun drop soda in the lemon lime soda flavor. Cornbread. Cornbread sweet. A lot like Jiffy cornbread. Might be Jiffy cornbread. Now, this rice is a rice with sausage. There's corn in there. I think there's egg in there. He's also got peppers in it. So you can see there's a orange pepper there. So you got sausage, peppers, eggs. It's a jambalaya type feel from that standpoint, but there's not Cajun seasoning in the rice though. Well, there's some seasoning in the rice, but it's not, it's not jambalaya. That's the point. Now their fried chicken. Ha <laughs> ha. I get excited about fried chicken. Mm. This is a winning combination. I'm just going to tell you that now. So what's happened here is, again, this store is on the corner of Cashua and Sumter Street. And for those of y'all that don't know, gas station food, particularly fried chicken and potato wedges, is... From what I understand, it's a southern norm, but it's definitely a thing in South Carolina. Definitely in our area. I mean, since I was a child, I've had gas station chicken plenty of times. And so we've got quite a few stores locally that serve lunch and breakfast offerings. And you know what? I'll go ahead and make another ranking spreadsheet 
best gas station food. And the cruisers on Sumter and Castro is going to be at the top right now. So I used to work at an office for about five years right by this gas station. And so I would frequent this place for lunch over the course of those years. You got your hour lunch break. It's right there. It's really convenient. Obviously, pretty modestly priced. We get all this for nine bucks. So a lot of days, that would be my choice for lunch. And he's got a pretty good menu. So if you see today, he carries the two different rice options. The one we got here and like a chicken bog. Fried chicken. He had uh, a lot of times they'll have oxtails. A lot of times they'll have macaroni and cheese. He didn't have that today or some beans. I didn't see beans either. And so a lot of times they'll have ribs. But today he had the fried chicken, the other items that you see there in those turkey wings. The turkey wing is usually actually what I would get. I mean, I would mix it up, but I would say that out of all the times I went, I probably got the turkey wing more than anything else. And I mean, as far as this fried chicken goes, as we go through Florence and rank the fried chicken, we will hit fast food places for that too. There's a good chance, it, it's possible, that this chicken here could end up being number one starting today because there's no competitors and then by the time we're finished. Hear that? I mean, and what you'll do is get the skin down in there like that. Get that rice on there. So yeah, just to give a light review to all of this, you're gonna like the rice. This rice has kind of a jambalaya type feel going to it with the sauces, the onions, the peppers, it's got the egg, but it's not so much a jambalaya seasoning, although I do detect some seasoning in there, but it's not, it's not so much that. It's actually the peppers combined with the sauces that really give it that vibe. The potato wedges, I guess it is probably possible to make potato wedges that are not good. These are just fine. And then again, this fried chicken, I mean, look at this. This chicken, uh, very well, like I said, could be, could could end up the number one chicken in Florence. I don't, I'm not saying that it will. I'm not even saying that I think it will. I'm definitely saying I will not be surprised if it is. I mean, he's got it seasoned and cooked just about as well as you could ask for. And then how can you go wrong when they also give you a piece of cornbread? It may not be jiffy, but that's... Because I almost don't think it is. But it's definitely what it tastes like. This was excellent. Now, I'm going to finish this. But I'm going to do so off camera and just enjoy that. What I will do to wrap this video up is I'll tell y'all what I think about these. Now, I already got into these on the ride back. That's another thing, too. I was hungry, obviously. But I did. I got into these on the way over. You can see them there, I think. And I was like, you know what? I'll buy them because... um. Give me a chance to tell a little background story too on me. Get to know each other a little bit better. I did wait tables in the restaurant industry for about 10 years up until about 2018. I was asked so many times if I was from New Orleans or and or Louisiana. I mean, if I, if I was asked once, I was asked 100. And the answer is no. I've been to New Orleans. I've been to Louisiana, but no, I'm not from there. I'm from here. But these are obviously Louisiana-inspired chips from Cheetos. And I'm going to tell you what they taste like. They remind me on the back end, there's a hint of this flavor on the back end. And I was immediately able to pick up on it. And if y'all remember, and it's literally probably been since the 90s or the early 2000s since I've had these. So they may or may not taste the same if they even exist. But Pringles at least used to have a pizza flavored Pringle. That flavor is reminiscent on the back end of these. So this is what these taste like. I was trying to give y'all reference points. They're definitely, they're definitely on the hotter side for chips. So I would say that if you took the Flamin' Hot Cheeto and you took the heat of the Flamin' Hot Cheetos and you turned it up like one, two degrees, a little bit hotter. Then if you took the cheese from the Flamin' Hot Cheetos and you turned the cheese flavor down a couple decibels, then you took some of that dust from the pizza Pringles and you just lightly dusted all over the Cheetos and shook the bag up? No. Yep. Absolutely. That's what these taste like. But honestly, I would rather eat the real food, which is right here in this box, that I got for $8.99 at the Cruisers 
on the corner of North Cashua and Sumter Street. And you know what? I am sure there are probably people that will not like me doing this video because they don't want you to know about their spot. But now you do. I don't mind because now that I don't work over at that office, I don't get over there much. In fact, this is the first time I've been over there since I left to do real estate full time. So this was a great excuse for me to get over there. And I'll tell you, I enjoyed that job. There's, there's a lot of things that I look back on fondly from that season. This is one of them. So I'm glad I was able to get over there. But you know what else I look fondly on is y'all. I appreciate y'all. And if y'all enjoy and appreciate these videos that we put out, uh, please give it a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That helps us out a ton, believe it or not. Uh, I've been bumping into a lot of y'all around town, so I look forward to seeing y'all around. And I'm going to go polish off the rest of this. In the meantime, y'all take care. God willing, we'll see you on the next video. Oh, yeah. And I did lightly mention it, but the Healthy Food Store on Elijah Lude Road, right across from Ace Hardware, is uh, where these are found. It's the only place that I'm aware of in town that you can get them. They're the only people that are carrying this brand. Harris Teeter's not carrying the Alive Cola anymore. They never had the lemon lime. Shout out to the Healthy Food Store for placing the order on these. And I, I like it. So I'd like for y'all to try these if you think you'd be into that kind of thing. And let me know what you think. I'm going to say Sun Drop in the Glass Bottle is the most relative lemon lime soda flavor that I could compare it to. And hey, I'll take it. Y'all take care.